What do you mean by sampling theorem? Well, my name is Rishir Anju, and welcome to the Backwards Engineering community, but I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves the obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term sampling theorem? Well, let's find out. So, before we go into what you refer to as sampling theorem, we have to first know what you refer to as the term sampling. So, what do you mean by sampling? For that, let us consider a particular analog signal like this. Let us consider a particular analog signal like this. So, this is an analog continuous time signal. So, for the purpose of converting this particular continuous time signal onto a discrete time signal that is when we use sampling so here when we sample this particular signal over here we will get discrete signal over here so here at time t is equal to 0 we have this at time t is equal to 1 we'd have this at time t is equal to 2 we'd have this at time 3 t is equal to 3 we'd have this at time t is equal to 4, we'd have this. So, at discrete time intervals here, we have obtained a discrete signal. So, this particular continuous time signal has been converted with the help of sampling onto a discrete time signal. So, this is why we mainly use sampling. That is, for the purpose of converting a continuous time signal into a discrete time signal. So, here, this is f of kt, where t is nothing but the sampling period. So, here, we can say that we are doing periodic sampling because we are obtaining samples at t periods of time. So, that is, at t sample periods, we are obtaining each every sample over here. One sample here, one sample here, one sample here, one sample here. So, this is what you refer to as sampling. So, now next, we discuss what you refer to as sampling theorem. So, now here we understood that for the purpose of converting a continuous time signal onto a discrete time signal, we use sampling. And here, the samples are obtained at t sample periods. So, what sampling theorem states is that, sampling theorem states that if the maximum frequency of this particular continuous time signal is say f, then what sampling theorem states that these particular samples must be taken at at least twice of this particular frequency f. Only if it is taken at at least twice of this particular frequency f, then only can we reconstruct this particular continuous time signal from this discrete time signal. That is, if we are converting this continuous time signal to a discrete time signal, we must be able to understand or convert this back onto this particular continuous time signal. That is, the discrete signal must be, we must be able to convert this discrete signal back onto this continuous time signal. So, for us to be able to do that, what sampling theorem states that when we convert this continuous time signal onto a discrete time signal, the sampling frequency must be at least twice of the maximum frequency of this particular signal. That is simply what sampling theorem states. I'll write it down. So, I have written it down. According to sampling theorem, a signal has to be sampled with at least twice of the frequency of the original signal so that the original signal can be completely recovered or reconstructed by just these samples alone. This is simply what we refer to as sampling theorem. So here, if the maximum frequency of this is a fm and if the sampling frequency of this is a fs, then what we simply state is that fs must be greater than or equal to twice of fm. This is simply what you refer to as sampling theorem. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. This does is simply what you refer to as sampling theorem. As simple as that, guys. There's nothing more to it. So, I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what you refer to as sampling theorem. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.